Uh, in this video, we will see from Glue how we can connect to Snowflake using a Snowflake Spark Connector. Before we go, go into the Glue job, let's uh, see about a Snowflake Spark Connector. This is the documentation page, the uh, overview of Spark Connector. The Snowflake Connector for Spark enables using Snowflake as an Apache Spark data source similar to other data sources like Postgres, HDFS, S3. This is a typical uh, architecture. So like from Spark, how you connect to different source, sources like this, like here. For example, from Spark, how you connect to uh, HBase, MySQL, Cassandra. So we use data source API. The same way, we're going to use Snowflake connector. With the help of that, we're going to connect to Snowflake. So interaction between Snowflake and Spark. The connector supports bidirectional and data movements between a Snowflake cluster and a Spark, a Spark cluster. The Spark, the Spark cluster can be self-hosted or accessed through an another device services such as Cubone, AWS EMR or Databricks. Using the connector, you can perform the following operations. Operate a data, data frame from a table or query in Snowflake. Write, write the contents of a Spark data frame to a table in Snowflake. So this is this connector is bidirectional. Either you can copy data from a Spark to Snowflake or from Snowflake to Spark. So this is a typical architecture. So for example, in the Spark, uh, first in the from the spark uh, spark cluster we want to populate populate this data frame which going to connect uh, we uh, which going to connect to snowflake using jdbc driver and the snowflake connector here so internally it's going to create a stage and load the data from stage to uh, snowflake tables so that's what mentioned here other other option is like uh, you can uh, read the data from a table or from a query and populate to a data data frame in spark uh, spark cluster that's what I mentioned here Populate a data frame, a Spark data frame from a table or query in Snowflake, or write the contents from Spark data frame to a table in Snowflake. So this is a typical architecture. So first, we'll from the Spark side, we'll populate, uh, we'll create a data frame, and with the help of the database driver and Spark connector, we're going to connect to Snowflake, and then vice versa. Like from Snowflake, read the data from a table and load uh, with the help of Spark connectors and the database driver, populate data frame and load them into uh, some uh, data lake layer in Spark. Now let's jump into AWS. So for that purpose, we need, as we see in the diagram, we need a JDBC driver and Spark connector. So uh, I have downloaded these two jar files, Snowflake JDBC as well as Spark Snowflake 2.12 uh, hyphen 2.11.3 hyphen Spark underscore underscore 3.1 jar. So this is basically this is Spark 3.1 version and also like uh, JDBC have, got, have taken this version. So I'll provide a link in the description how you can download uh, the Spark uh, uh, the Spark connectors. So this uh, like based on your Spark configuration, you need to choose the proper uh, driver here, driver as well as this JDBC as well as the Spark connector here. So if you don't choose the correct version, then the job will not run. So based on based on the Spark cluster, you have to choose pick the right connectors. So what I'll do is like uh, right now go into ETL jobs. So I'll get with a visual blank canvas. I'll click on create. So what I'll do is I'll just. Um, so this is a sample code so in this code what we're going to do is like we go and we're going to read the uh, data catalog table and then we're going to write the data into snowflake so for that uh, first we need to create this uh, connection string this is snowflake options we have to provide this uh, snowflake url snowflake user snowflake password snowflake database schema and warehouse so I've, I've stored all this in my secret manager. Instead of keeping it in the code, I just keep everything in the secret manager. I want to quickly show that. Uh, So I have stored this URL database schema arrows here. So that's what like I have stored this 
credentials in the secret manager and with the help of boto3 i'm reading those secrets into my glue next uh, i'm just reading the uh, data catalog table like from catalog table i'm reading the uh, uh, database this database a table in customer here and like i'm just converting to a data frame here then i'm writing data frame to snowflake using this pack options here this is like uh, write data frame format snowflake options i'm passing this snowflake options here this uh, credentials user id password everything here table name is like the table this is ta database table name this is the new table name so i'm reading the customer table and writing into Snowflake as customer demo. And the mode I'm writing is over right here. So this is my uh, Snowflake Spark connector. Job details here are the IAM node. So this is demo uh, glue jobs. So this I wrote should have access to the, the S3 Secrets Manager also. Then Spark version. So I'm I'm using a Glue version here. I'm going to use 3.1 because my Spark version is 3.1 here. So I'm going to use the 3.1 version here. Then I'm going to need to provide the jar files here. So here you need to provide the jar files. The library different jar path paths are there so you have to copy this url paste it here then put a comma then copy the next jar file so you copied both the jar files here and i'm using spark 3.1 version here yeah so that's pretty much here you can save this one we go to the data catalog table tables read the customer table here i'm going to view the data so it take me to athena now If you see my table, so I have four records here. This is my catalog table, the database and customer. And I have four records here. So this is my uh, catalog table. So in my job, so in my job, I'm just reading this catalog table here. Just table, just database, customer. I'm reading the data catalog table, pop into a data frame, then writing to uh, Snowflake using this spark connector here. So I'm just passing the options, the Snowflake options here. Table name, this is customer demo. We run this now. Job is running now. The job should have shown us succeed, succeeded. Now we'll just quickly uh, see this in a Snowflake. So initially we have only two tables inventory inventory new. Now let me refresh this Snowflake page. Now you could see customer demo table is created now. So let me query this table now. Now you could see the four records being populated into Snowflake. So in this demo, uh, I've just shown how we can read from uh, data catalog table and load them into Snowflake.